Thank you, Madam President. I, I stand um, to proudly support SCR number two. I, the few things that I want to bring up is, um, and the senator in front of me talked about this earlier, unfortunately the numbers are moving in the wrong direction. Um, I, I've, um, with many of you, been involved in the issue of sexual assault and domestic violence in this state for 20 plus years, and it's, it's uh, very frustrating. We're, we're not doing enough. And if you look on page two, line one through five, where it talks about the two whereas that talks about the fact that in 2016, 2,126 children were evaluated um, for possible, possible sexual abuse. In 2016, 625 adult victims um, sought services. Madam President, that's a minor fraction of the actual assaults that occur. And that is because we're not doing enough. They, they cannot count us on us to have the proper laws in place, to believe them, to support them. Victims feel that there is no justice. And um, it leads to so many other issues in our state. We look at things like alcoholism and substance abuse as being these siloed activities, but often they are people masking their pain because of attacks and things that have had happened to them in their past. So. Um, Madam President, there are a couple of key cases we've looked at this year. In one of those cases, that individual, um, Peter Wilson, um, had been attacking young people in our state for 30 years. And people didn't believe those victims, people didn't support those victims. So a resolution is nice for awareness. But we have a lot of work to do to stop letting down victims of sexual assault and domestic violence in our state. Proudly support it. Let's work together to get those other actions um, completed as well. Thank you, Madam President.